This is where they live. Uh, these cartons uh, is their mattress, right? Uh, obviously, there's about 20 plus of them out there, uh, all ages. So whoever comes in first, uh, slips on the cartons, right? Uh, you can see up there, there's some blankets as well. So whoever comes in first, first come, first serve basis. Gets a carton, gets a blanket. Especially now it's cold. And then uh, whoever comes in last, there's nothing to sleep on the cement in the cold. And then the way they get uh, warm is the, they snuggle up to each other. And uh, I'm very uh, impressed with them. I asked them, what happens if you get sick, if someone gets sick? And uh, they said that uh, I would just pray. And I turned pray. My appeal now is for uh, the uh, Fijian expatriates, uh, Fijian diaspora out there. Uh, this is where uh, our journeys begin. So if you get an opportunity, come back uh, and then uh, yeah, start up your own, the, uh, the uplift project uh, for our disadvantaged uh, citizens, uh, not only here in Suva, they've got them in other centers as well, like out in the West, Nandi, uh, Lotoka has been mentioned. Uh, yeah, give them a lift or uh, even a broken home. You don't have to, uh, it, it's not about money, it's about uh, mentoring, okay? It's about changing uh, their mentality. Uh, that's the most important thing. Some of them, uh, obviously, uh, with uh, uh, family troubles, they're very, very similar to mine. Uh, broken homes, uh, some uh, deceased parents, some have got their uh, parents or the dads uh, in the correctional centers, uh, in prisons. So, uh, and some of them have been here. Uh, the, uh, the latest ones uh, have been here uh, just about uh, 12 months, but uh, some have been here for as long as four, six years, and this is, this is their daily routine.